Hey everyone, this is Darius from The Shot Caller and I'm standing here with Xerxy, the new Splice jungler. How do you feel after the loss against Fnatic? Hi, so... Well, this was the first game for us on the stage and uh, I guess I, I, I mean, I, have, I had high expectations to win, but at the same time Fnatic was coming as the favorites and they had the least roster change. They yeah. had the only Hillisong with Jessis. So on paper, they should have been stronger. This is not an excuse anyway. <laughs> S but uh, I'm actually not sad, neither mad, because I think this was a good learning experience for us. Because uh, for the past weeks, we actually, s it's the first time we're playing together. And uh, for the past weeks, we started like really down. And then we progressively like got better. And uh, I think I'm actually happy with how fast we learned uh, to play together. And uh, we are getting there. Okay, that's good to hear. Of course, I mean, uh, in all fairness, uh, like if you look at all the Rosa, uh, the spring, spring split predictions, uh, from the casters to journalists to everyone else, Fnatic was usually placed at first. So you know, yeah. it, it should be okay. <laughs> <laughs> it makes me feel better about myself. <laughs> uh, how did it feel playing at Silly Sun, your former teammate? It was a bit weird when uh, I was working on the stage, and uh, I see him but he's not in the same team with me. He has this great Fnatic jersey. Like, oh. I have my jersey. There is no UL stuff. And I was like, holy. Yeah. That's why it sunk in that, you know. Yeah, I, had, I was just thinking about it, how we just changed. Oh. Uh, you both made your decisions, of course. Uh, you got, got to join a really impressive All-Stars roster of sorts. I mean, Otto Wamner, Niski, yeah, you know, really. Kobe Kassing, and the coach, Peter Dunn, yeah, which yeah. We we're, we're really excited about. It. Yes. He's, he's really knowledgeable, right? Yes, when I talked to him uh, before joining Splice, we had like a little interview, mm -hmm. and uh, I was impressed by a 10-minute talk <laughs> by how knowledgeable she was. I mean, I, like, I have Brazilian friends who are very into the Brazilian scene and they praise him like he's the next Dela, basically. So, yeah, we'll, we'll see how he does. Uh, yeah, he does. He's really appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, he also got to be the All-Stars coach for Brazil during All-Stars, actually. Yeah. Interestingly enough. So, right now, what are your personal goals for the upcoming split? I mean, you, you already got the Rookie of the Split Award, so you can't win that again. Yes. Um, but you have a lot of jungle competition, and uh, what's your, your personal goal rather than the team goal? Because that's obviously mm. playoffs, right? Yeah. So my personal goal would be to improve as much as possible and learn from every single team and uh, jungler, a bit from everyone. And uh, I just want to ultimately just become the best jungler in Europe and then take one step at a time and then go for, you know, best jungler in the world. Okay, I know this sounds like... <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's gonna take a long time, but I'll get there. Okay, very confident though, for sure. Uh, so one thing you just told me off camera, but I think a lot of viewers will be very impressed. You did lose a lot of weight, 15 kilos, you yes. told me. Uh, what's your secret diet for the readers? <laughs> Basically, eating once a day and no sugar at all. That was my secret. Yeah, I, I cut out all my sugar from, from starting this year as well. It's it's really tough. I'm suffering so much. <laughs> I know. It's so tough. But after a few weeks, you kind of get used to it and you don't crave it anymore. Yeah. I, I'm slowly getting used to like sugarless Coke and that kind of stuff. Yeah. It's still kind of bad. Yeah, uh, it's hard. Yeah, it's really difficult. So uh, what do you think, you know, we have had so many changes from... Uh, you know, 2017 going into 2018, especially in terms of how League of Legends is played. You know, the whole new rune system, oh, so many new things, kleptomancy, Ezreal, stomping everything. Uh, what do you think of like the meta right now? Do you think it's fun or do you think there needs to be certain things that need to change? From what I've seen and I, I watched uh, other regions like LCK, LPL, and uh, we have to see NA yet. Uh, in jungle, at least, they actually every region has its own picks. For example, uh, in Europe, we are playing Evelyn. In uh, China, they're prioritizing uh, Shivana. In uh, Korea, they're playing more Zek. And it's actually interesting to see all of these picks in each region. And you are wondering, is, he, is his meta better than mine? Is, uh, is mine better? So you just have to think about it. About the runes, I actually like them. And uh, it's so much better for the stage as well. Because I remember last year, uh, with the runes, you would have to before the game, you'd have to make like 20 rune pages and it was so annoying. And now you just have 
one front page, you just change it after every game and that's it. Yeah, pretty simple. It's and so easy. of course, you know, good for noobs like me as well who can't afford uh, buying runes with IP because I want to <laughs> buy champions, goddammit. I can't yeah. b- afford runes. So yeah, interesting cha- change for sure. Um, in comparison to like other teams, like uh, a lot of analysts have said this, Maurice Amazing has said this on Twitter, for example, that Fnatic looked by far the cleanest out of all the teams that have played today. Uh, but we've seen very good games from both G2 and Misfits. We've seen Schalke playing amazingly, given that they had to yeah, sub in Vandos was, ADC. That was one interesting game. <laughs> one interesting game. <laughs> um, so, so besides Fnatic, because you played them now, who do you worry maybe a bit about? Or like, who are your opponents that, that you look forward to playing? Opponents? I think G2 mostly, because uh, Perks and Jankos are really strong and uh, they are really a good, they are good duo and uh, we learned a lot from them. And then uh, we played Fnatic today, which I think they are the second best. And then uh, maybe Schalke. I think it would be like Schalke, Misfits, us. But actually maybe us are on like fourth or fifth for now because we are slowly learning the game because we are still getting used to each other because Misfits, they, are, they kept like three players of the same roster, yep. Fnatic same and G2 looks surprisingly good for uh, how d- for the roster change given. Yeah, I mean they had to change for a player, so that's pretty yeah. surprising. Yeah, it's really impressive. How does it feel? All right. You and Otto Wamna are the only Romanians in, in the league, yes. and you both have the same first name. Isn't that a bit awkward at times, like in the team house, like when you go, hey? I was actually thinking when uh, she was announced that... Uh, you know, we can make memes uh, ra- about it. Uh, like, hey, Andre, how are you doing? Oh, I'm good, Andre. How are you, Andre? And yeah. <laughs> yeah, I, I d- definitely. Okay, uh, Splice, social media manager, get on this right now, because that's your job. <laughs> that's a meme potential yeah. right there. Like, the, the, you know, the, the same hat meme, for example, uh, like a uh, cartoon, it's like one guy has the same hat and the other guy has the same I hat. Right. Same hat, same hat, same hat, same hat. <laughs> yeah, I think I know it. Andre, 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 ah! Yeah. Um, but yeah, I- interestingly enough, though, um, I'm, I'm currently looking into this thing, how different nations are produce different uh, types of players in League of Legends. For example, Denmark is just absurd. Yes. If you look at all the players they produce, um, Germany is kind of slacking behind. France is okay, I guess. Uh, what do you think is like the Romanian scene? Is there any Romanian scene? Well, I haven't played there. <laughs> I mean, I used to play when I was younger, around 13, 14. I was playing only there, because that's what I only had to do at that age. And uh, I was winning most of the tournaments. And then uh, it got to the point where it was too easy, so I wanted something more challenging. <laughs> but uh, nowadays I'm not really following anything regarding it. And uh, I don't really know if there is an upcoming Romanian LCS fellow. <laughs> <laughs> well, we might, he, Splice might pick him up. Uh, yes. At this point, they have we'll to. We'll make sure. <laughs> yeah. all, all Romanian team, win yeah. worlds, done so. That's what we're going for. Um, so, uh, so you actually, before for context, you before you went to Unicorns and now before Splice, you played in the TCL in the Turkish League. Yeah. Uh, what was that experience like? How was it different from ELCS, for example? Mm, I think that was the most useful uh, experience that I had because uh, that was I played on stage in uh, Romania, but uh, it was only a tournament, so it, you play only, let's say, best of five, then you go back home. Mm. But uh, in TCL, we were on a stage, we didn't have crowd there, but uh, even like even if we didn't have a crowd, I was still uh, really anxious on the stage, and my hands were just shaking. I remember, I still remember how in the first games, my hands were literally shaking on the keyboard and mouse. My heart was just pounding, and uh, so you, you got over that stage yeah, right. I, I just had to play a lot of games there to just get used to the feeling, and uh, that really helped me in uh, LCS as well. Because in uh, UL, in the first weeks, I didn't have the same problem. But uh, I was still anxious about doing a play. Hey, should I go for this play? I'm actually afraid if I fail, I'm going to look bad in front of all the people, like the crowd is watching me, then everyone. And now uh, I think this is the first time when I actually felt quite comfortable. I had a little problem with the mouse, but other than that, <laughs> I felt pretty comfortable on the stage. And uh, I'm uh, really excited for this season. Nice. Anything you would like to say to the Splice fans out there, to your fans? Well, uh, thanks for uh, cheering for me. And I hope you are changing for me. <laughs> and uh, I guess that's it. Okay. <laughs> a few people will have you in their fantasy LCS roster, so they will be cheering for you. <laughs> okay. okay. That was it from Darius and Xerxes.
See you guys next time. Bye-bye.